All right, so this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, May 11th to May 17th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below. Uh, it's going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And with that set aside, let's move to the uh, general reading straight away. So the first card, which represents the topic of your week, that is to be uh, the Eight of Cups, followed by the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. We have the Empress, then the challenges, which are the world. Afterwards, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings of the Six of Cups. Then it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That will be the Six of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the Guidance, that will be uh, the Hermit. So it's a pretty important one. And uh, here we do have a real testament of your personal resilience, if you, um, if you will. So uh, what we have at our hands, it is a, um, the adoption of a new approach of yours uh, toward really substantial and important aspect of your life, be that relationship, be that career, be that a project you're developing, be that a person you're trying to be with. Uh, because up until now, um, there could have been what more to be desired, but uh, the lack of accomplishment into that field, in a sense of being, the, being, uh, you know, that there could have been more that can be desired, um, does not. How can I put it to words? Really, it's not enough to make you leave. You know, it's it's not going to be enough to to make you departure or rather like um, uh, abandon that particular agenda or that particular goal or this particular project and etc etc so what happens here is that we do have you are to be on the verge of either making it or breaking it you are almost going to have enough of it at least at the start of the week for example you're almost going to have enough of your partner almost you're going to have enough of your boss and uh, or enough of your wife or a husband etc etc but instead of making the rush decision, you know, I'm leaving you or I, 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 enough with this BS, you know, and um, I'm done and etc, etc. You are to give yourself a break that comes from the energy of the Empress. So it's, it's like uh, uh, detaching yourself from all those activities that are uh, appear, appearing at that particular stage of uh, the development of at that particular stage of development as a stressful uh, as a stressful influence upon you so by detaching from them you will be able much more in a much more mature fashion to analyze the situation and thus being able to make a better judgment and on that judgment therefore a much more balanced and well-found decision because at the end of the day what those energies are going to make you understand it is that you are the one who defines by one's approach and strategy what kind of a fruits you are to reap of your labor be they sweeter be they sweet or be they bitter okay and uh, that will lead to the situation here which is a situation of the eight of cups which pretty much points that although you know the results right now may not be exactly as the results you have expected even though the current situation may not be as fortunate as it could have been, um, a much uh, better potency or much better perspective that resides within the situation itself. So it's not like changing your partner, but much more better perspective with your partner are um, awaiting you moving forward. So pretty much uh, the week itself will not demand but will require from you to forgive and forget as well so hopefully you are capable of doing so and pretty much reach a closure to the to the tasks or rather like to the development that's pretty much cannot be improved and by you withdrawing from all that 
uh, from all these activities through your analysis you alone are going to see that they can they simply can't be improved you either swallow it and move forward or you don't swallow it and you break that development uh, that uh, leads us to the next card which stands as the challenges that you have to overcome and it's pretty much what i already said that you need to reach the conclusion you have to consolidate you gotta finish it in a sense of that what's done it's done uh, and we just have to move toward the future so here with the world card it, it takes quite of an unusual stance the world card in that particular narrative it pretty much points that now you gotta start thinking of what are those new perspectives that you can accomplish with your partner with your with your work with your career with your friends that are different from those really stagnated and um irritating developments that you could have not uh developed as the way you wanted for them to be developed and another thing uh with the world another thing with the world here in that position is the ability to face the future unbiased just because some things and i mean some things i'm not saying that uh, everything it's it's a, a bad storm here that you are going through but some things just as not as good as they could have been in your mind okay but uh therefore you should face the world unbiased in the sense of that you need to give the benefit of the of the doubt that moving from now on into the future things all, all of the things that you are yet to experience within your job or within your relationship can actually develop uh, better than you have expected or at the very least as you have expected they can develop okay but you need to maintain that sense of maturity and that sense of balancing a balanced big decision or deci balancing decision oh my god how do you say it yeah something like that so uh, maintain the ability to make a well-found and balanced a uh the decisions and not selfish and emotional ones um next one it will be the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy sagittarius and that is to be the six of cups so with the six of cups uh once you overcome that sense of uh it's not even a defeat but rather like a sense of resignation that you resign that what it is it is and now i have to just you know hope for the best from now on so once you stop worrying that um um or rather like stop dwelling uh into that it could have been better um instead you're going to start experiencing the week by its moments and that will create this is where the gifts and the blessing re, the blessings really kicks in and um pretty much uh, you are going to start experience experiencing emotional and physical satisfaction especially if we're talking about relationship it does speaks for a development of the emotional and physical connection in between you and your partner you know in between you and your wife in between you and, and your husband in between you and your girlfriend or a boyfriend etc etc that is in term of a relationship now this card however in career gifts you with something much different it gifts you with the creative expression in the sense of that once you stop um banging your head against the wall that you could have done the previous project much better than it actually turned out and you liberate yourself from the um feeling of that you are not that you don't worth as much as you actually do then uh, the current tasks that you are developing they will turn out to be much better than you have anticipated even uh, at the start because you are to unfold uh, your full creative expression here and that is to be the gift for you uh then the next one it is uh, the guidance that uh, not the guidance i'm sorry but the impression that you are leaving into the people around and that will be the impression of the six of pentacles so uh it's a pretty heavy one in the sense of that people see your struggle here or kind of like your sense of poignancy that you are not happy with certain results that are uh, developing around uh, but people also understand that they can't help you with that uh, and you have to cope with that sense of, of poignancy on your own 
but also people are um, seeing you as a person who is learning from it and is learning how to um, play around with uh, even with things that are not developing the way that the plan demanded for them to be developed and therefore that it leads to even bigger creative uh, creative unfoldment my point here with the six of pentacles is that you are to surprise certain individuals or certain amounts of uh, people around you because they thought that that thing is going to crush you down or rather like um you know break you but uh, actually it turned out that uh, you have been able to suddenly you know adapt to the uh to the situation itself and uh, salvage it in one or another way and as we are talking about salvaging it this is exactly what the last card says which is the guidance here the hermit like i said you are at the start of the week you are going to be on the point should i keep on going with it or should i just you know completely leave it behind and the hermit here points that 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 you are not exactly happy with and that you thought that it could be developed better than it is developed right now it is actually a, a very very substantial part of your life either into career or either into relationship and that itself deserves a, a second chance so here we can conclude but oh, you need to approach the situation not emotionally once again but rather intelligently and wisely that is what it is asked throughout this uh, throughout this week so uh, all in all here that week is going to test you how much you can forgive and how well you handle temporary defeats and not permanent ones um, and uh, pretty much that's your reading Sagittarius hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading with me uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, with that being said we may see each other around until then bye